Authorities remain on the scene in that neighborhood where they discovered that computer, but they also discovered something else in that apartment building, a cache of weaponry and explosives. Tonight, our chief foreign correspondent, Terry Moran, inside that building, knocking on the apartment next door, asking the man who lives there if he had any idea what was happening on the other side of that wall. Here's what he told Terry. Overnight, that apartment in the Brussels suburb, a virtual bomb factory, was scoured by investigators into the early morning. This shaky video of the search shot by a shocked neighbor, and inside, a grim find. Investigators were covering about 33 pounds of TATP, the so-called mother of Satan explosive, used in the Paris attacks last November. Almost 40 gallons of acetone used to make TATP, detonators, a suitcase filled with nails and screws, and ventilators. A bomb factory in the middle of this Brussels neighborhood, and people have a lot of questions. How could the landlord not know? How could the government, which checks every rental, not follow up? It seems almost incredible that no one saw anything. While we were on the scene... You didn't know. No. A neighbor arrived. He told us he lives in the apartment next door to the suspected attackers, but saw only a bearded man come in and out, greeted him once, no. and got a stony silence in return. The neighbors tell us the suspected attackers were only up in that apartment for a few weeks. They moved in, they built their bombs, and they killed. And the urgent question now is, how many more hideouts like that are there here? David? Terry Moran here in Brussels with me tonight. Terry, thank you.